Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome back to Repair and Replace. In this episode, I'll show you how to replace the handle in a Sloan Regal or Royal Flashometer. To begin, you'll need a handle assembly, a flat blade screwdriver, a smooth jaw wrench, and a bucket. Flashometers or flush valves are just automatically timed self-closing valves. At rest, water is at equal pressure in the upper and lower chambers. This keeps the flexible rubber diaphragm closed tightly on the valve seat. When the handle is pressed, the relief valve opens and releases water from the upper chamber, which decreases the pressure. High pressure water from the inlet now lifts the diaphragm up and travels down the flush pipe. During the flush, some of the water is forced back into the upper chamber through a small bypass hole in the diaphragm. The flush continues until the pressure equalizes and pushes the diaphragm down onto the valve seat. If the handle assembly is worn down or starts sticking, the flushometer might not function. Additionally, a worn handle might also cause short flushing if it fails to open the relief valve all the way. You can replace the entire handle or the inside parts. First, shut off the water to the flushometer. Remove the cap and use a flat blade screwdriver to turn the screw clockwise until the control stop closes. Next, hold down the handle to remove any remaining water. Use a smooth jaw wrench to loosen the coupling and remove the handle. If you're replacing the entire handle assembly, then you can simply discard the old handle and skip the next step. First, disassemble the old handle. Slide off the handle coupling and gasket. Unscrew the socket and handle grip. Discard the old plunger, spring, bushing, and seal. Now take the new seal and place it on the bushing. Then slide the spring and bushing onto the plunger. Now screw on the bushing. Install the assembly and place the new gasket over top. Screw the new handle and gasket onto the flushometer. Now secure with a smooth jaw wrench. Turn on the water by opening the control stop. Now test the flushometer and adjust the control stop until you get a normal flush with a quiet operation. And finally, replace the cap. If you like this video, leave a comment below. To keep up to date with Repair and Replace, please subscribe. And for the widest selection of parts, low prices, and same-day shipping, explore our website below. Thanks for watching.